Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are doing fine. In this video, we are going to learn about EMF and internal resistance. We know a cell or batteries are the source of EMF. EMF stands for electromotive force. It determines the amount of work done by a cell or battery to the flow of charge in a circuit. It is represented by letter xi and measured in volt. Now, I will measure the EMF of this cell. I will set the, this multimeter to read voltage. Place the black probe in negative terminal and the red probe is connected to positive terminal of this cell. Now, the multimeter reads the EMF which is around 1.5 volt. Now I am going to measure the EMF supplied by this battery. It is 9.5 volt. Now I am going to connect this small motor that I have mounted on the battery to this battery. When I do so, I have completed the circuit. Now the circuit is called closed circuit. If I measure the voltage now across the terminals of this battery, you may find the voltage has reduced now. Earlier it was 9.5, now it is around 8 volt. The potential difference across the terminals of a battery or cell always reduce, reduces in a closed circuit. Now I measure the potential difference across the terminals of this battery. You will find it is more than the voltage that we measured in a closed circuit. This shows that the voltage across a battery in open circuit is always more than the voltage across the terminals of a battery in closed circuit. In simple words, voltage across a battery or cell in open circuit is referred as EMF which is always greater than the voltage across the terminals of a cell or battery in closed circuit. And next I come to the internal resistance. The internal resistance of an ideal cell or battery is always zero. And EMF is equal to the voltage across the terminals of cell or battery in a closed circuit. But uh, no such kind of ideal battery or cell available on the surface of earth. A real battery our cell is made of electrolytes and electrodes. They provide some resistance to the flow of charges and results in internal resistance represented by small letter R. I hope the video is useful. If you have any kind of doubt related to the topic, kindly put your questions in the comment section. Thanks for watching.